All right, big up on yourself. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. My name is Richard Brown. Um, I have never really, once, I think once I did a formal interview with Akeen when we, when we just start, out, start the YouTube. But at the end of the day, the channel did get um, take down or you know, deleted or something. So that interview, them, I wish me would still have it because it was early days in me doing YouTube. But nonetheless, um, I think it, it's full time now for me to have a sit down and do an official um, interview, or if you want to call it interview, or talk to, to the audience. All right, um, a little bit about myself outside of YouTube. Um, I am a, a professional photographer, cinematographer. I am in my late 30s. <laughs> You know, time flies so fast. Um, I have two kids, a son and a daughter. Um, son in her teenage years, daughter, a, a baby still. Um, I, I, I started out doing video from a tender age. Because my mom, she was a, um, she was a videographer. Um, I started out doing video. As a matter of fact, I started out handling the camera and being around video from as long as I can know myself um, because she was a videographer from back in the days I've always been handling the camera fooling around with it it has always been something that I've, I've loved but never something that I, I saw myself doing as a profession I, I saw myself doing welding or, or mechanic or body work you know those type of job I saw myself doing but as I approach my teenage years and the fact that I have always been around camera, I think my mom saw saw it in me. So the, 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 the community group, community organization that she learned to do video with and she trained to do video with um, was having a seminar um, back in, 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 um, in what? 99, 99, 99, 2000, 2000. They was having a seminar in 2000 where they had lecturers from, from, um, from the university coming down to train, do, train the community persons who were, who were interested in doing video and learn to edit. So she said to me, I think you should undo it now because I did it back in the days and I think you should undo it. I was a bit hesitant, you know, I was a bit hesitant because at that time I loved playing football, so football was my main interest at school. So I was more interested in playing football than even doing video. But she, she talked to the, the, the person who was facilitating the, 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 the training, that was Mr. Matthias Brown. May his soul rest in peace. May my mom's soul rest in peace too, because both of them passed away. So she talked to Mr. Matthias Brown and said, Talk to Richard, man. Talk to him and see if he will definitely come again. You know, football in love. So one evening while I was on the field, Mr. Brown watched me play. And, and after I done playing, he called me one side and he talked to me. And the whole reasoning was about him saying that, I see I play football. And I see it's something you love, but... I don't see you as somebody who is going to represent Jamaica playing football. So I think you should have come out with the training. So he actually officially invited me to the training. I went and when I went, um, I would consider myself, and it's not me bragging or anything, I consider myself as a person who new video to some extent because I've always been around the camera so I understand certain things about the handling of the camera but not from a professional sense but but it does know how to use the camera more than everybody else that was a part of the training so that within itself gave me an edge in video training so I guess in that sense I kind of excel more than a lot of persons who was doing the training so um you know, me, me, me just start doing the training with them and me just start being a part of the club and, you know, 
anything with them I do as it pertains to video, I was heavily involved in it. And I was fortunate enough for them to decide to say, yo, they're going to send me to Cuba. Because they were having some video thing in Cuba. And I went. And that was an experience within itself for me. That's something that I couldn't pay for. You know, so I get a whole heap of knowledge and a whole heap of experience. And I, I feel like being a part of the community group helped me in, in, in public speaking, helped me in, in how to communicate, helped me in so much ways in terms of the person that I am now. So a lot of that, I have a lot of hope, a lot of the, of, of the person who I am now, I have to give thanks to the club, to the persons who were involved you know, Mr. Brown, Miss Fenton, all the others who were heavily involved at that time. I have to say thanks to them if they ever watch this video. Um, may I have to say thanks to my mother who has always supported me in everything that I, that I do. And uh, this is part of the reason why now I'm doing video. And m most of the times I miss her so much because we were both so heavily involved in doing video together as, as business partners, as, as a team. But Skip forward now to YouTube. I'm um, still recording, right? Yeah. yeah. Interesting, I'm still record. All right. So let's skip forward to me doing YouTube and where we started to where I am. Um, while doing video and doing weddings and running that side, I'm a, a, a biz, as, as it pertains to business, you know, doing weddings, going to hotel, different hotels. I have always loved doing music videos and stuff. So at that point, I met. Curious, fire us. And we always do music video for him. And we just become bridging. You know, him left all the way from Nigel Mobile, come link me at Petersfield. You know, till one time I did a, a short movie with my cousins. Like something, we came around five minutes with them. And it was well put together. At that time, I didn't see myself doing movies or doing YouTube. Did a short movie with them. And me show sure fire and fire seat. And fire said, what? So he was impressed with that. So he decided that we could try the movie. So he spent almost three months coming back and forth from Negril to Petersfield, writing to write one movie. But it just happened that we never do that. But eventually he wrote one with um, Fifi. You know what I said? Big up yourself, Fifi. Anyway, you're there. Um, he did write one with Fifi and. Them approach me, say, him approach me again and say, yo, I could do a movie, man. I want a script, I want to do a movie. So, um, probably around 11, 12 years ago, we did one by one. It took a long while to film because it's not like now when, where we kind of seasoning it and we find a, a, a rhythm, we find a technique so we can do the movies faster. We took a long while doing it. And at that time, I wasn't driving, so I had to, to take taxi from the grill almost. Anytime I do a wedding or I do I have to take a taxi to come to Nigula. And with the all boat in Nigula film from Whitehall right around the surrounding till we get a complete movie. And we were so excited about the movie, you know, and we did that. But the problem with one by one, it was so violent and we had a lot of bad words. We'll a curse word in a hit. So we decided that we we're going to do another movie. So we did a comedy called Carelessness. And we decided that we were going to do a showing in Nigril. And the showing that we did in Negril, we got a superb, superb turnout. You know, it was very successful. And we decided that we were going to try to do it at a SAV. But doing it in SAV wasn't successful. You know, it rained out and it just never worked. SAV, SAV one just never worked. So we decided to sell some DVDs. You know, because that never worked out. So we start put together the movies and on DVD and go all over the island from here to Montego Bay to, to Ocheria selling it. That was a success within itself, but it was so much work. You know me I said not only that it was so much work, a lot of the time we set up our own place and we are sell police come and say, yo, I say yo if you don't get permit for, for sell your son re, re, re. So within that within itself it was kinda a turn off. So we decided that we were going to stop for a while Till we can't afford to do movie because movie costs. Still, we, we, we break off for a couple of years till, till 2019. 
when we meet this virgin name, Akeen Lawrence. You know, we go do a wedding. We don't have a virgin name, Jason Nan. Akeen, I tell me, same do YouTube and da 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 da. And he say, how oh, well YouTube are going for him and thing and thing. And I say, all right, show me how much you make. So that's not bad. He say, I do YouTube. So in that period of time, I go to a woman, link back fire, and I say, yo, what go on? I could start back something now. So doing YouTube at that time, it was only per the, the person that. Alright, where do you say to have a start back? Alright, so doing YouTube at that time, the only person we saw on YouTube who were who was doing a lot of content and had a lot of subscribers in terms of comedy or movie or whatever you want to call it was Fry Irish. So I said alright, I could start the content not similar to what he was doing but in terms of length. So we start to some five minutes, some two minutes. And uh, the channel was kind of growing yeah. steadily to some extent. But we decided that, all right, people are bad, so they want it longer. So we, we stopped doing the five minutes to, till we start the 15 minutes. When we do 15 minutes, oh, we realize that people still are said short. Then when we meet a virgin name, Damian. So yo, we're watching the movies. But one of the things when we, when, we, when we find the problem with it, it's just too short. By the time I start watching it, it's done. So he gave us some assistance. So we decided so we start, we're going to start the long movie. So the f apart from Carelessness and One by One, the third full length movie we did was Good Man. And we cut it up in pieces and post it. Then we post the long length. But the, the response that we get from posting the long length, we realize that the direction that we should go is doing full length movies. So from Good Man, we just transition right over doing full length movies. And from that point until now, we are at 100, almost 100, and 32,000, almost 132,000 subscribers on one channel. And the other channel, Jamie Wood, we are at 54 or 50 something thousand subscribers on that channel. And on the BTS, we are 27,000. And there are a, other hosts of channels who spring up around us who are growing also. So from where we start to where we are at now, it has been a growing process and a learning curve. And at this point in time in doing movies, I feel like it's time now that we transition over to something bigger, maybe a Netflix or one of them platforms. But at the end of the day, one of the challenges that we face from the beginning until now is finance. Because all these movies that we do, we do them with no budget. But at the end of the day, if we have budget, we always can make better movies. We always can implement certain things that is missing from a lot of the movies that we do. So at the end of the day, we are push forward with what we have because our motto has, has always been using the, using the, 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 the resource and what we have to make movies. We don't sit down and wait for nothing. If we don't have a gun, we just do a movie. If we don't have a house, we still do a movie. If we don't have a car, we still do a movie. We use the resources that we have. And so far it has been going good. And I know for years to come, I might sit and watch this interview and it is always going to be a blessing to see where we are coming from and where we are at. But before we jump off of this, I want to say thank you and big up you can pass. All right. Before me jump off for that little little vibe, I mean, how would you know? I want to say thank you to everybody that has been supporting what we've been doing, both financially, both equipment-wise, and both even just calling and just give that word of encouragement. So we love on do. Thank you to Uno because at the end of the day, we could have never done this without myself, without Fire, without the actress, without the actors them. We could never have done this without you, the subscriber. So big up on yourself, continue to support what we do as we continue to grow. And if there are persons out there that want to support what we do through any means, whether through cash or through kind or through props, 
just do the right thing. Link me up by Instagram, Richard Brown Films, or send us send, send, send me an email through Gmail, richardbrownfilms at gmail.com. We accept any support. So big up on yourself, continue to support what we do as we continue to grow. Big up on yourself. <laughs>